I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. It is my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. It is the keycard for my room. It is a pillow bear prototype. Turn the bear inside out, and you get a pillow. Very top secret. Are you a victim of the inferior American social support system? Yeah. Uh, I need some whiskey. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. Wake up, sir. I have to go. Sleep well. Trestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park. 1.7 miles. The light is turned on and I do not see a light switch. I do not see a way to turn it off. It is too hot to touch. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. completed step three of the note. Now for step four. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate.
This is going to be a long night. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. It's a cell phone. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Happy to help. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. Smile! Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's a hotel key card from the dead man. Dead ringer for the body. Oh! That's the coroner's job. Better not. I don't want to turn the body over. That's the coroner's job. There appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gunshot. More like a puncture from a sharp object. Which is odd, because the opening title sequence clearly showed a gunshot with accompanying sound effect. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts.
What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. The trail ends here, at this huge rock wall. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. I can't budge it. It's an empty whiskey bottle. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Behind jaggy lines from mucus phlegm games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? Behind jaggy lines from mucus phlegm games? I don't get it. Who'd ever let a game be named that? It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. <laughs> that was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. 
We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Quack! Click, 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 click. Squeak! Beep! Click, click, click. Eek! Eek! Was. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them. Saves wildlife. It's an empty soda bottle. Wait up, eager beaver. Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? The inscription says, Pilotronics, the brain of our city. A good place to get a drink. Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, Who Agent Ray. 
It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain a who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pilotronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pilotronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Function of the blood drawn 3000, trademark, patent pen tape, is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of a suspect. Procure a slob or other absorbent material and tap some blood on it. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I, I mean the blood drawn 3000. Trademark will confirm a positive match. For 
of the finger drawn 3000 trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest drawn 3000 trademark patent pending using official government issue fingerprint tape place it on an object with fingerprints and the fingerprint will be transferred it's around here somewhere, I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you, you're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Entering hibernation state. The primary function of the face drawn 3000, trademark, is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. Procure an official law enforcement camera, then do use camera with dead body. The face drawn 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Sure, whatever. One thousand and seventy miles. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93,000 miles. At its closest orbit, the Sun is 91.4 million miles from the Earth. The Andromeda Galaxy is around 2 million light years away. Seriously, you've been playing too many adventure games. Subroutine exit 